Hi again, this is Diana Willett. Welcome to my Let's Cook video. Today we're making stuffed peppers and we're putting it in the pressure cooker. Right now we're browning the ground beef. Take a few minutes to brown. About a pound of ground beef here. These are the peppers. And I already made the uh, rice, a cup of rice. We're going, we're going to incorporate the rice into the uh, ground beef as soon as this is ground up. Right on high. Get a little garlic powder, just a little bit. Uh, you put salt and pepper on here. This is an excellent pan, the Copper Gourmet pan. It browns everything very well. Nothing sticks. I love this pan. Everybody loves stuffed peppers. It's quick and it's easy. You can come home from work, make this in 15 minutes. As long as you have a pressure cooker. I have the Power XL pressure cooker right here. It's nice and large, it's a 10 quart. I could put all those peppers in there. Let me open up the lid and show you how big it is. Nice and big. I can put the peppers in here now. I'm just going to wipe this a minute here. I'm all in here. You can see that you can fit them all. Nice and big, 10 quart. Now I'm browning the beef. Before I add the meat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a can of Mario Batali's marinara sauce, put it in the pressure cooker. It's excellent sauce. So this has a liquid in here. I'm just going to add a liquid to the pressure cooker. So we're putting a whole jar of it in here. Okay, and then let's ground the meat. Almost ready. A lot of, a little bit of fat in here, not too much. We're going to drain that before we add the rice. Cut this up in little pieces. You have to stuff the peppers. Run up with your spoon. And so for a second, put paper towels on the plate here. I'm going to drain the meat. Okay. This 
is um, very good meat too. I had a lot of fat on it. Let's put it right back in the pan, drained. Okay. Throw this away. Put it on. Roll here. Open up another can of Mario Patali's Cherry Tomato Marinara. This is going to be delicious. Okay. Put some sauce in here. Put it in low. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add the rice to the meat. This is a one cup of rice. Toss it little by little. It's a delicious meal. Every time I make this, everybody loves it. Easy to make. Not too much rice, though. We're just going to add a little bit more. Maybe save the, ru the rest of it for something else. Let me just see how much I have here. I don't want to put too much in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to basically add three quarters of a cup of rice. Not a cup. You can make a cup, but you can leave it for something else. Okay. A pound of ground beef, three quarters of a cup of uh, cup rice. Get a little bit more of this. And the rest of it we're going to put on top of the peppers. The rest of the tomato sauce. Trying to burn it off. Okay. Now we're going to stuff the peppers. Take a spoon. Put the meat mixture in here. Here's the next one. It'll come out delicious. One more here. Should I use all the meat? Fill the peppers up. Remember, put a jar of sauce at the bottom of the pressure cooker because it needs moisture to cook. Okay, now what we're going to do is going to use the remainder of the sauce and pour it right on top of the peppers for more flavor. Okay, and then when I'm done, we're going to put sharp cheddar cheese on top of the peppers to melt but we're not going to do it right now let me just get my lid Close the pressure cooker. all right set the uh, knob here for pressure and usually I put it under soups and stews and I'm gonna set it for 30 minutes that would be good and now it's going to go in pressure and count down. As soon as the stuffed peppers are done, I'll be back. And I'm going to show you the finished product. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.